How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here. We're not on Foot 2004 today. Today we have an unboxing video. You can tell by the title and thumbnail what it is. It is the Need for Speed Collector's Edition, which is exclusive to Game in the UK, which Game is a game store, like GameStop for example. I thought instead of just ordering Need for Speed digitally and playing it at midnight, I'll spend a little bit more money and wait a little bit longer to get the Collector's Edition and do an unboxing for all of you to see what you get in the Collector's Edition. So we're just going to get straight into it. The Collector's Edition, as I said, is available only from Game on PS4 and Xbox One. I know I've not covered up the label because it wasn't delivered to me, so that address is not mine. Do what you want with it. Let's have a look what you get in the Collector's Edition of Need for Speed. Well, this is going well so far. I don't have a knife. I'll use a key instead. That's right, a little bit of information about this. It costs £99 and obviously you get the game with it. I've been quite desperate to get this for the past couple of days. I would have loved to already be uploading, but I thought I'd spend a bit more money and get this version so we can do an unboxing and show you all what you get. There it is. Ah, beautiful. So first of all, I'm just going to take this out and make sure there's nothing important on there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says that Need for Speed, the game is £33 and then the extras, the collector edition, is £66, adding up to £99. So technically, for the collector's edition, you get the game for £33, and then the rest is £66 uh, total, by the looks of it. For some reason, it says PlayStation 4 there, which I hope there's not PlayStation 4 in here, because I don't have a PlayStation 4. Anyway, into the goodies. So, there's a lot of popping paper. There's the game, which thankfully is for Xbox One. I'll put that to the side. We'll have a look at that in a second. And then, oh, that's heavy. Jesus. So for the collector's edition, this is what you get. You get the game separate plus the box of goodies, which I believe does have a steel case book as well inside. So make sure there's no codes showing up. No, there's no code. So there you go. The game, simple as that. You get the game. Brilliant. But what you're all here for is the collector's box. I'll tell you, this is a, this is a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Oh, oh, it's coming apart already. Let's put it to the side. Comes out like this. This is my first time looking inside of it. Oh my word, there's a lot of stuff here. Smells nice. What have we got here? There's a cardboard box. It's very heavy. There's the sleeve that it comes in. So we'll pop that there. And on the back, preview of what's inside. Polar Star little information about the Polar Star, or the Pole Star, I should say, which there is a model of in here. Then we have congratulations on Need for Speed Ultimate Edition. And then inside we have, is this the notebook? Yes, this is the Need for Speed Risk, Risk, Risk Win Notebook, which I'll probably use for video ideas. Then, oh, that feels nice. That feels very nice. There's the, the steel bookcase, which you can use instead of the... Uh, plastic one. I do like the feel of that. That does look pretty cool because obviously it's a steel book. And then there is the model of the Polestar which comes with it as well which actually I'm trying to look at it close without being off camera. It looks pretty nice. It looks hand painted as well. Oh it does come off. Does that come off? I don't want to yank it. Oh it feels it felt wet then. It's metallic. That's definitely metallic. But there's an upfront shot of the car that you get, and I believe this comes out. Oh my goodness me, that's just a bit of plastic. And then, Jesus, those are heavy. And I believe these are the magnets, which I can actually open. So you, there is a risk, risk, risk magnet. There is a magnet of the Need for Speed Heat kind of wallpaper background. Very heavy. Uh, some Need for Speed Lee artwork there, presumably some kind of logo. And then another kind of wallpaper background. And, you know, it's a good quality magnet. It's got some weight to it. The printing's very detailed. Very nice. And then at the bottom, these, believe me, are the stickers. One sticker, two sticker, three, four five and six and seven i can't count so that is the full collector's edition which is exclusive to game 
of Need for Speed Heat. So, here we go. A brief kind of review of what comes in the Collector's Edition now. As shown, you get the standard game for Xbox One or PS4. Along with that, in the Collector's Edition, you get the... Oh, I can't even open it. The Steelbook case, which my game is in, which feels very nice. You get four magnets, which I like that one especially. You get a load of stickers. You get the notebook. You get the Polestar model with a removable case. A cardboard box, which is an even bigger case. A couple of informational leaflets about this Heat for, Need for Speech Studio app. I believe there's a code on there for something as well. And yeah, overall, not too bad. As I said, according to the invoice, technically you're only paying £33 for the game, and everything else here adds up to £66. Maybe that's a little bit of a stretch. Oh, broken it already. It seems as if the car is removable by two little screws there. The same video that this day was released is the same day that I bought this, so the chances are my game is probably still installing. So you can expect lots of videos on New Speed Heat and Forza, obviously, still at some point on the channel. I like the feel of this. I've never had a steelbook case before, and it does feel very nice. So you may all be wondering, do I think the collector's edition is worth it? <laughs> if you're a collector, then yeah. Why not? The standard game is, I think, 50 to £60 pound anyway, so technically you're paying £40 pound for the collectible car, the case, the steelbook case, the notebook, the stickers, the magnet, and the, the other miscellaneous bits. So some might say it's worth it, some might say it's not. In my opinion, there's a lot worse collector's editions uh, games out there for a lot more money than this one. As I said, the box is also a case. It slips in quite nicely to there. Oh, you can see the webcam. Hello! Slips in quite nicely to there, so if you want to keep it, I'll probably keep it in there like that, to be honest. So anyway, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more racing game content. Be sure to wait for the... I nearly snapped the disc then. Be sure to be ready for uploads of Need for Speed whenever it finishes installing, hopefully sometime by January. I'll see you all later.